So, I know that if we go out in public and there's a problem, I mean, Nikki is not the person that anybody wants to deal with when she gets mad or when she's worried about something. If some if shit hits the fan, she's going to do one or two things. I will things. assert myself. Yes. She's going to do one or two things really quick. She's going to help the problem in a drastic way or she is going to make it way worse than it already is. Real quick, one of those things is going to happen. A large majority of the time, Nikki makes it way worse. What? That's not true. Yeah, I've seen you get so mad and just like, she's ready to throw hands at points. Um, especially when it comes to somebody maybe making a move on her score, her trophy man over That's here. That's only happened realistically one time. Um, anyway. I was ready to go to jail that <laughs> there, night. There are uh, situations in life that pop up and you know, stuff happens. Hell, I was in an intersection. Remember when that guy ran into us right soon after we got our new car? It was to handle it. Everybody takes their responsibility in the case, which in this one, I didn't do nothing wrong and I knew it and everything was fine. It ended up working out fine. But that's not always the case. When people in a position of authority make mistakes, they oftentimes... Mm-hmm don't want to deal with that the way that a normal person should. And they think that they're above the law and they think that they've got enough power to just do whatever they want oh, out so here. So this is a situation where the where cops somebody, are wrong. Where somebody who thinks that they're better than the rest of us is just out here. They have just done All right, let's just something watch horrible. It. Like, yeah, I, don't I even just know. want to show you this. I want to get your reaction to it. Um, this is a video from a channel called James Freeman. Um, and I just, the title, don't read it. Okay. Um, Try not to look. Yeah. We're just going to get into this one. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's very recent, too, by the way. This isn't some shit that happened in the 80s or something. The time and date were not set properly on the the time and date were not set properly on the dash cam, but on December 30th, 2022, this couple was stopped in traffic at a red light when all of a sudden Oh my god. Now this isn't an uncommon occurrence. There's roughly 1.7 million rear end collisions in the US every year. It's what happens next that makes this story stick out from all the others. The driver gets out to check the damage, and the first thing that the driver of the one-ton pickup does is inform the other driver that he's a cop. He's Both drivers duty. agree that they should move their cars off of the roadway. That's not true. I don't think you really did anything. Thank God they have their cameras. Yeah, I know. On. Like that's you usually. The don't. couple gets out to inspect the damage. The driver of the truck begins to become irate informing them over and over again in slurred speech that he's a police officer. <laughs> the couple calls 911 to report the accident and the potential drunk driver that rear-ended them. Hello? Hi, may I help you? Sorry, I didn't realize my... So I got... Somebody rear-ended me and I didn't realize my car was connected to my phone. So can I get a cop to... Where are we again? By the, the common sense common, by the mall. Common sense by the Ogden Mall. It's right by the... Uh, it's on Wall Avenue. Wall Avenue right sense. next to Longhorn Steakhouse. I'm in a Ford Fusion 2018. It's a Ram 1500. The guy says he's a cop. Rear-ended me at a stoplight. All right, I'll go ahead and pass along with the cop you're out. Thanks. Thank you. That's recording. After talking to the off-duty cop that rear-ended them, they realized that his truck is blocking the entrance to the gas station, so they decide to move their cars up again. As they get back in the car, the passenger is clearly upset about something. Like a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't need to ask this guy. 
At this point, the driver is certain that the man who rear-ended him is drunk. He gets out one last time to check the back of his car and see if his trunk will actually open. At this point, the suspected drunk off-duty Salt Lake police officer later identified as Thomas Cagle moves his truck forward. Again? Oh He's rear-ended this sedan again, but this time with the driver pinned between the truck and the car, crushing his legs. At first, it's questionable whether Thomas Cagle is just so hammered that he just had another accident. However, after pinning his victim, he puts his truck in park and refuses to move. Oh. The victim remains pinned between the two cars for more than 30 seconds before the passenger gets in the sedan and moves it forward. Oh my god, thank god they had a camera going. Yeah, oh yeah. my god. <sighs> Fuck. The victim cries for help, but unfortunately he was not carrying a firearm, which could have been used to neutralize the threat. He's just gonna go forward. His legs aren't oh. After moving the car forward, the female walks between the car and the truck. Bystanders who witnessed the incident and heard the screaming come from the gas station to help. Thank God. One was a paramedic, okay. He would have lost his legs. While an off-duty paramedic and bystanders offer aid, the drunk Salt Lake City police officer that just crushed someone with his truck walks around freely. They would find out later that the entire time he was carrying a pistol on his side. Okay, I the victim was transported from the scene in an ambulance. The Ogden police responded to the incident, but Cagle had previously worked for this police department, so they claimed that there was a conflict of interest and called in another police department to make the arrest. Both myself and the Lackluster Channel have made open records requests to the Ogden Police Department as well as the arresting Riversdale Department for body cam footage so that we could see how they handled this incident. Neither department has even so much as responded to our records requests. The Riversdale Police Department did, however, give body cam footage to ABC4 News. In the small clips that they did publish, you can see him? Officer mm -hmm. Cagle standing around casually with his hands in his pockets, just chatting with officers. Mind you, this is a man who just used his truck to crush someone. Later at the police department, Salt Lake City Officer Cagle expresses how upset he is that this one little incident may cause him to lose his retirement. I put so much time and effort into my career and then something stupid like this. Stupid like he, mm. Is <laughs> more than likely gonna during his time at Ogden Police Department, Officer Cagle was written up multiple times for preventable accidents as well as other incidents. One of those accidents included him hitting a pedestrian with his car. And he can't seem to express enough how worried he is about his career and how unconcerned he is about the man whose legs he just crushed. I'm just going to be pissed if Salt Lake me over with only a few years left. Dude, when the police footage that... is released, be on the lookout for it on Theodore Donnie's YouTube channel, as well as the Lackluster channel. For now, if you want to see the entire incident uncut, I linked to Theodore Donnie's YouTube channel below. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Was just... Was was he drunk? Okay, one, he should have got a, a DUI. No, he, he got a DUI. Okay, so That's he it. got a DUI. As far as I know. He, he literally crushed someone's like on purpose if that was me i mean good on her for thinking to move it forward because i'd be probably trying to just crawl into his fucking car but if he he's just walking around like i don't care if he has a gun i don't care if he shoots me i'm going to fucking maul this guy like you're gonna be over there you're with a paramedic you're safe you're good i'm going after this motherfucker Dude, I told you you'd be mad. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's That's crazy. Insane. It goes beyond. Look, there needs to be like certain, this guy would there have shot me. There's certain no amounts way. of. Is it reasonable that someone in uniform could have made a mistake here? That's always no, a thing. But this us. is completely us, different. This right? is completely in every way wrong. In every way, if this would have been a person exactly, who Bell. is not associated 
with any kind of law enforcement, they would be buried under the oh jail right God. now. I mean, you would be... Oh, I oh. hope that my retirement... Dude, I hope that you get bent over and fucking... It's just unbelievable, dude. It's just totally without regard for anyone else. With the same shit I was going on when I was talking about people in the medical profession that are there for a paycheck. Like... That's insane. Well, everybody needs to make a living. I'm not saying Serve that. Serve and protect. But yeah, there's been so many instances in my life where I've dealt with shit just like this. Uh, where it's just like unbelievable the weight that gets thrown around or the protections that are offered to somebody because they're in local because government. Because status. Because yeah. they're in local government. Whether it's the police force or they're a lawyer or they're a, a, a judge or they're whoever. It's just status and it's, and it's power and it's the abuse of power. And it's the flaunting of power and looking down on other people and stuff. It's just disgusting. But this was one of the most, like over the past two years or something, this is one of the most unbelievable things I've ever witnessed. Yeah. It's just this guy hitting someone with Hit a truck. Hit a pedestrian. Drunk. And then did this and had other charges against him. Now, I don't know if it's true. I didn't look into it. But I heard last week that if you are trying to become a cop and you take uh, their tests and mm -hmm. you have an IQ that's above a certain range, you cannot be a cop. Like, wow. there, are, there are caps of IQ. Now, I need to look into this. I'm not saying it's true. I yeah. heard this and I believe it. Yeah. Well, anyway... <sighs> Interesting video. Uh, look forward to hearing what your all thoughts are. The discussion around something like this could be very interesting. Um, it's just kind of hard to defend the guy. I mean, it's impossible. Like, it's well, impossible. what can you even say? Fuck that guy. Um, but yeah, again, this is uh, James Freeman. It's the channel. More content like this. If it's something you're interested yeah, in, sure. go ahead and check that out for sure. If you enjoyed our reaction to this, you could always give us a like. We'd always love to hear what you think yeah. down in the comments. And if you have any suggestions, yeah, the comments like Chad said, our Discord, and we go live every Friday at 2:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. So thank you guys for your time. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.